Gareth Bale has been making headlines once again. A story has snowballed over the last few days that he's not happy. And the suggestions are that he could leave in January uh, to go and play for Shanghai. Um, obviously, these rumours uh, happened in the summer as well. Real Madrid rejected them. Peja Mijatovic uh, came out and said, I don't know him personally, but from what I've read of the comments he's made, the first thing he thinks about is Wales, then golf, and after that, Real Madrid. I haven't spoken to him, but that's how he comes across. You never know whether you'll be able to count on him if he's motivated or not, if he's injured, but we'll see how he improves once the international break approaches. Um, I don't want to dwell on that too much when Miatovic is saying, but we, we seem to be back to square one with Bale, aren't we, Sid? Yeah, I mean, look, I must admit, we're, I also feel like we're back to the golf again. And it just feels like that this is kind of an easy cliche that people fall back on. Oh, Gareth Bale can't play for Real Madrid. He likes a round of golf. Um, as if this was the worst thing of all time. And, and, and you know, this, this starts with Gareth saying, well, I really do quite like the golf and admitting it, and then sort of making kind of a slightly tongue-in-cheek joke of it that all I care about is golf. But I think partly that's been, I think that's been overplayed. Obviously, it's been overplayed because there is a generalised conception, uh, you know, concept of him, which is he's maybe not entirely committed. There is frustration with him. There is that sense that perhaps he hasn't always reached the kind of levels that his talent would suggest, although he's been, in terms of efficiency at least, an absolutely enormous success at Real Madrid when he hasn't been injured. But yeah, look, the, the relationship is, 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 is breaking down. The relationship is very, very difficult. But then we said this in the summer. Mm. And, you know, you, to, to pick up on that idea of him going in the, in the winter. I mean, personally, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to, to not see out the season uh, unless you think that the opportunity to go is going to be there then and not at the end. I don't really see the logic in it. Um, but, yeah, of course, it's something on their minds because the relationship isn't good. But the relationship wasn't good in the summer. He's still there, not because anyone really and truly chose for him to still be there. Continues then. <laughs> well, that's a bit tedious, isn't it? Particularly when somebody's saying, well, I haven't spoken to him, but it seems to me it's Wales and then golf. Yeah. And then, you know, that's just making an assumption uh, based on, as Sid said, based on a, a cliche that's been doing the rounds for quite a while. Look, we clearly know there is a, a little bit of a fractious relationship here all round, and particularly because some of the things he says, which I, I, I almost said, I think a little bit of it's tongue in cheek now about the golf and other stuff, because clearly, clearly you don't have a career like Gareth Bale has had for club and country if you're not committed to what you're doing. Now, you know, go and have a game of golf, you know, a day, but I'm trying to think back. They don't like you doing it like 48 hours before or whatever, but there is a, you know, there's a bit of a time frame and I'm sure he's in a cart. So it's not exactly, you know what I mean? Like, well, if he's like me, he's in a cart. But it's just, it's just, it's just, I think it's, a, it's an easy stick, excuse the pun, to beat him with whenever a story raises its head. But I'll go back to the fact that he's had one, he's had a career that everybody else would, most people would die for. You don't have that if you're not committed to the game. I'm, I'm, I'm with Craig and, and Sidia. Listen, I'm not going to address the, the golf rumours. I, I don't think it needs any further addressing. The, the issue for me is we're back to right where we were in the beginning of August. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed. We knew that, that Bale and Zidane didn't see eye to eye, that they didn't have a good relationship. We, we knew that, or we figured that, that Bale wanted out. We figured that Real Madrid wanted him out. Um, yet still, we're having that, exa that exact same discussion, what, three months later, which... That, it, it bemuses me um, that between both parties, that this wasn't sorted. And, and why we were here yet again. The Shanghai thing must be an... I don't know, I think Gab was trying to get in there. I think, I think it has to be an agency thing for me. Right. I think it seems to me... Yeah. I don't know about you, Gab, I think it looks like it's an, an, another agent story to me. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think this is, this is accurate um, for, for a number of reasons. It could be... The story coming from from Madrid, hoping to have other bidders come forward, but uh, there's a major issue with players moving to China in terms of of the tax that's that's put on any transfer fee paid, uh, which means that they couldn't pay a transfer fee. So this would, or they'd have to pay a very low one. So this would be a case, even if the story were true, and Bale was actually going to go and, and and play golf in China uh, amidst the pollution in Shanghai. But even if this were all true, um, Real Madrid would have to, at midseason, with Asensio injured, with, um, with Vinicius not playing particularly well, you know, with Eden Hazard in his first season, say, all right, that's fine. We'll just give Gareth, we're just happy to, to give Gareth Bale away just to get his wages off the bill. I, 
I just can't see that. I just can't see that happening. I can't see the logic. He's had he's had opportunities before, uh, and it hasn't happened. I, I genuinely do not believe that, that that this is accurate. At least as we as we speak now in late October. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.